Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day and I have another beautiful house for you. So behind me is the Eagle River Hickory House and it is just absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited to show it to you. Let's go ahead and uh, hop into it. I'll show you around the home and we'll go inside. Here we go. Here we go. Check this out again. I get so excited walking into these homes, even though, you know, I, I check them out before I come in here and talk to you guys about it just to kind of, you know, see what's happening. But this is the, the foyer for this home, which is nice. I'd like, breaking up the section of the home a little bit so you're not sitting right in your living room as soon as you come through the door. So. And y'all are gonna love the layout of this home. I, I really like it. Right off the foyer you have your coat closet. Now throughout this home you might see a little bit of paneling and a little bit of drywall. Most of this home is drywall, which is an option. And again, all of the homes that I show you guys, every home is customizable. But check this out. Now, all of the cabinets in this one, which I've been getting beat up so hard, not necessarily me, but these homes have been getting beat up so hard in the comments. Everybody hates the white cabinets. So I present to you, not white cabinets. So you got a nice seating area on the island. And one of my favorite things about this island, which I've talked about, I wish one of a couple of the other homes would have it as well, is actually having the sink on the island. I think that's a pretty neat feature. But that does leave a lot of this open counter space that, you know, just seems like a little bit of a waste. To me, but that could be different, you know, for everyone else. Now check out this backsplash. This backsplash is actual tile. not paneling. And again, the hickory cabinets. So really nice. You have your gas range and built-in microwave. in your refrigerator. Now here, a lot of their homes aren't completely finished just because this is a show lot. So where you see like this right here, this would be covered up with some nice trim. Into your dining area, which is a huge space. You could probably actually fit some chairs on either end of this table as well and get six people. And then you have your sliding door out to your future backyard. And then this home has a feature that a lot of people have been saying they wish a particular home would have. And you have this nice gas fireplace with a nice hearth and a spot for your TV over the top of it. What do y'all think about that? I like it. 
I heard a gen. And again, if you're not loving the carpet, the carpet is an option as well. Whether you want that or another type of flooring. All right, now we'll go in here with Jen and check out this first bedroom. Now this room is long. Kind of feels a little, a little small just because it is long. I'm sure it still has enough room to Get over here so you can see it. I mean, there's enough room for a bed in here, but probably make a good kid's room. Just to me, this one feels smaller than some of the other rooms that I've seen. And then across the hall, I see this one just feels a little bit bigger. To me, and it, that, it, it might not be the case, you know what I mean? But this has been one of my favorite layouts. And then you have your standard one piece shower tub combo. Again, going with the hickory throughout this home. And then into your utility room with a door towards the back. Then you have your furnace and your electric panel. And then in the corner you have washer dryer hookups. And again, I know everybody's gonna say something about the wire shelving, you know, especially when you have such nice features as this one does with the hickory cabinets and stuff. And then they're just gonna go and ruin it with some wire shelving ain't nobody got time for that all right and then as always saving the best for last let's go check out this master bedroom all right this isn't too bad this is a decent size i think you could easily get away with a a king size bed in here and still have room for your your nightstands on either side and i'm thinking a dresser over on, against this wall you know what i mean And then they've really been doing an amazing job with the size of these closets. Even in my house, I just, I've got an itty bitty closet. Jen makes me put all my clothes in. And then my piddly little drawer that I have, she gets the rest of the. <sighs> and then into your ensuite. has nice little linen closet. And then double vanity. The neat little, I guess, medicine cabinet. And then you have this great big window up above, letting in a whole bunch of light. And then your shower, which I think is pretty cool. And then next to that, you have another linen closet. And then your toilet. All right. Now I'm gonna tell you the price of this home in just a second. But there's something that I haven't gone over or pushed a whole lot. And I really, really wanted to tell you guys about it. So 
we have done so well on the channel and that's all thanks to all of you. Um, I can't tell you what it means to us to have grown the way we have. And I really just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Also, we have a website and there's not a whole lot on there right now. Uh, me and Jen have been working a little bit on it to kind of put some content out there, but there is a forum section that I would love to just grow our community and build something that we can discuss various topics about mobile, manufactured, and even modular homes. So if that's something that you're looking into, uh, you have questions, or maybe you've been remodeling, or you're a dealer, or you move mobile homes all the time, go over, it's free to join. You can just use your Google account and start talking, meet with other people, talk to me, talk to Jen, and uh, we'll see you guys over there. So now, how much does this home cost? The base price is $117,990. Now, obviously the price is gonna change depending on your location and the features that you decide to go with in your home, but that gives you a general idea as far as what to expect if you're looking to purchase this home. So I think Eagle River did a really nice job on this house and I look forward to seeing more of their homes. So as always guys, my name is Timothy and I'll see you in the next one.